Hi and welcome to your Go Market Update charts for the day for the 11th of April 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening in markets today. Let's have a look at the headlines. And of course, US equity markets were open last night and paired early losses to close generally higher. The Nasdaq was slightly under neutral, but the other two major indices close to the upside. Of course, we get US earnings season kicking off at the back end of the week and Wednesdays. US CPI is likely to dictate sentiment quite significantly. US futures are mildly positive in early Asian trading. Asian markets are generally higher. The ASX having a good day with materials leading the charge up around 1.1%. The VIX has dropped again to close near monthly lows and has breached 20 support. US dollar index strong yesterday as that CPI data looms. It's honored its 101 support. Gold is near 2000. In a choppy session so far in Asia, uh, we did see that drop at the back end of last week after the US jobs data. It's around about 2000 as we speak. Copper bounced off its 200 EMA last week and sits around that $4 level, but didn't push any higher last night. Looks a little directionless in Asia. And oil looks as though it may tip over after that big move last week. It paused near the top of the range after OPEC Plus announced the production cut. Be interesting to watch that. Technically, it looks maybe a little vulnerable. Bitcoin has breached the top of its short-term range and is now comfortably over 29,000. Certainly some buying pressure into that and other cryptos as well. Worth a look, perhaps. And it's a quiet day today before ramping up throughout the week. We've got the IMF meeting, Chinese CPI data out and Euro retail sales being the highlights today. The US CPI number, as we've already referenced, is the week's highlight. That's out tomorrow. And we've also got three of the Federal Reserve members speaking tonight, which may move markets. They have done of late, uh, particularly if they have come out in the hawkish camp, but we get the suspicion that that may be tapering off a little bit. So it'll be interesting to see if the market responds accordingly. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Uh, we're going to start in the FX space and the Euro Yen looks really interesting today. You can see it's pushing up against this R1 pivot at 145.45. If we look at this on a daily chart, you can see how important this level is uh, as we look on the daily chart back here in November. Uh, also, early March, it was at this level. So it's having another crack after this retracement down to 142. But there looks to be some strength coming back into the Euro. In fact, the yen is weak against most crosses today. If we look at the ASX, there's a few stocks that have caught our eye. The materials sector, as we've said, is looking very strong. Sunfire is a good example of that. So despite copper just struggling a little bit to push higher, we're seeing Sunfire back at a key level around just under $6.60. And if it breaches that, I think we could have plenty of upside in this. So want to see where it closes towards the back end of the day. But bear in mind that materials will be quite sensitive to that CPI data as well over the next couple of days. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.